Hello everyone, uh, Ibaraki Ben here. Um, about two days late with this blog update. Um, as usual, things have been chaotic and busy. Uh, also, I uh, spent a lot of time recently in um, doing advertising and sort of preparing my uh, YouTube channel as well. Um, I've been promoting a lot, and uh, I got an, I got invited to the uh, YouTube space studio I think you call it in uh, in Tokyo and um, I took a workshop there uh, that was in uh, what's it called uh, in like using Premiere Pro and After Effects to make like 3D uh, 3D um, imaging and uh, special effects to use in videos I'm not really going to use the 3D imaging so much but the knowledge is kind of useful and uh, I learned a few things about Premiere Pro that I didn't before so I met some cool people there and I'm going to be working with a few of them to kind of help their channel and in exchange uh, they're going to like give me shout outs and help me promote mine a bit so we're going to kind of help each other a bit. Most of them were like vloggers or they do reviews and things. Uh, one person in particular, they, um, they're, vis they're visiting Japan, they're over here for like uh, one year and um, he didn't want me to like mention his name on uh, a video at the moment, just in case we can't work anything out because his time against my time, we kind of almost no time to meet up. But he wants to like go to uh, events in Japan. He speaks absolutely zero Japanese, but uh, he wanted me to like help him out a bit and go along with him, do some of the speaking for him, asking questions, general kind of things. Um, also somebody, he wants a foreigner's kind of outlook and also for me to like do some of the camera work for him. So yeah, I offered to do it in exchange. Uh, he's going to help me out with my videos and uh, he also said that he'll help me out with some editing if I need it and uh, he'll promote my channel because uh, he pays for like an advertising company to do promotions for him and he gets a lot from them so he said he'll throw mine on there as well for helping him out. Uh, before I went to the YouTube event, uh, I decided to make some like business cards because in Japan it's it's kind of customary that you always have a business card when you meet people, and there's like this whole scenario of when you meet somebody you have to introduce yourself, you bow, and then two hands give them the card. So, uh, uh, so, I'm gonna... so th th this is like the the cards that I had made. So. Uh, yeah, it's got my, my name on there, uh, my details, phone number and everything. And uh, I got these made at uh, Kinko's. And they're not so expensive, but not cheap at the same time. But I got it like on a rushed three hour service because uh, uh, I kind of needed them for the next day sort of thing. And uh, usually they do like a 24 hour or a few day service, but I was like, no, I need this now. But uh, it was it was a gift from me, so that was quite nice. Um, also, uh, I recently backed a movie project that's um, that's currently sort of going on Kickstarter by Hiroshi Katagiri. Uh, his movie is called uh, Gehenna, uh, Where Death Lives, and um, it's a horror movie that's made using like practical special effects not like the usual constant CGI sort of thing this is going to be using like uh, makeup effects and puppets and you know things like that so um, it's it's kind of being made on a budget as well but with like Hollywood standard because the, the Mr. Katagiri he works in Hollywood on some really famous films so uh, I'm going to put a link on here for you to take a look at the Kickstarter along with his video um, if, if you can donate a couple of dollars because this is his second try to get the Kickstarter going last time it was a terrible failure but this time he is so close and there is only like 60 hours left well, by the time I've edited this and got it online it's probably like 58 hours but um, yeah, there's not much time left, and he only needs thirteen thousand dollars. He's already raised like two hundred and seven thousand dollars, 
So um, if you like horror movies and you want to be a part of the show, because he offers some great rewards for if you put if you front some money on there. Um, like I'm gonna get my name in the end credits under like a special thank you. I'm gonna get a T-shirt, copy of the DVD, digital download, all that kind of stuff as well, and some other goodies, which is quite nice. Uh, so yeah, there was the movie as well. What else was there? Uh, ah, um, I haven't pl really been playing games much the last few days. Work has kind of like drained me, and my time has just been fucking crazy if I'm honest. Uh, I've been working extra, doing more. Uh, my time at home has been kind of limited. I haven't been able to get near my desk sort of thing. So uh, I finally got past that now. So I'm going to get back into it because I really want to get my GTA series kind of the heist series kind of up and running a bit more because I started off and I did loads in such a short time. I finished like two full heists and the finales and then suddenly I've been stuck at the last one. So I need to get that done soon because um, I want to move on and, and get the next ones done because I want to start making some like funny moments and comedy videos but I've got like three terabytes of footage that I need to wade through as soon as they're done I need to just delete the the main files once they're finished sort of thing so I've got to get through those before I start recording new videos um, uh, also uh, I would just like to mention that a friend of mine uh, Candy Angel she has her own blog so um, if, if you've got a few minutes time take a look because uh, I've seen a lot of people who do like video blogs and they're kind of dreary or they're unrealistic or they're so self-obsessed they're just annoying but um, I you know she's the most down-to-earth person that I've ever seen that's done a blog and she does them every day and she works hard on them and she's got family and she does like her she does modeling as well um, and she kind of includes her family in her daily life in her videos so it's kind of nice to see what you know what somebody else's life is like and um, she'll always try to comment and she'll talk to you if, if you like comment on her on her like page or comment on her videos or her Facebook or anything like that and she's such a nice girl so if you've got some time take a look at her videos there'll be a link here as well for them the only other thing I've had this week I've been getting a lot of comments recently no, I, I like comments, comments are good especially when they're constructive but the comments I've been getting recently are mostly people self-advertising or putting useless products on there one of them is uh, a company I don't know if it's a company or an individual but the, the name is like a company name promoting like game uh, was it game projectors on my channel and, oh this this video was really good it would look better if it was on a game projector like, you know, fuck off I got a, I've got a 70 inch TV that I play games on uh, I don't think it projector is going to make it look much better especially if I want to play with the light on it's kind of useless really so that kind of pissed me off and I ended up banning him from my channel and my my Google account because he was just constantly posting shit on my profile same fucking thing so that was getting annoying I asked some people on Google communities for some constructive criticism on my videos I said you know I've, I've edited these videos this is the style I'm going for can you please like take a look and give me any suggestions of how it can be better there were some good suggestions some people said you know add some like fairly quiet background music or try to talk more try to joke around more sort of thing you know that's great I, I'm gonna try I'm gonna honestly do that but then I had some people just saying like 45 seconds in it was shit stop watching it's like well you know you may as well have not typed anything because it doesn't tell me anything it just tells me you don't like it why <laughs> I want to know why it could just be that you're not easily pleased or it could be that you're a wanker and you just like being pessimistic towards other people I don't know but if you have got some feedback for me please give it and please if you don't like something say why if you don't like it just because you're just being an idiot don't even bother typing it because I'm, I'm gonna waste my time reading it but I'm not gonna waste my time responding to it I'm just gonna delete it do it a few times I just ban you from the channel it's that simple 
Uh, I'm, I like to think of myself as being quite down to earth and I've got a very low tolerance for uh, annoying people. So I say that and my videos I usually end up annoying my friends but um, yeah I, I don't like I don't like people just being an idiot or just being pessimistic because they can. If, if they've got something genuine to say I'm happy to listen. Whether I agree or disagree is you know neither here nor there I'll hear them out. But if they're just going to post random crap like what I see on some people's videos, you know, I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to sort of like entertain them by even commenting back. I'm just going to delete it immediately. And if they do it too many times, I'm just going to ban them. It's that simple. I, I don't have time to waste on idiots. I'd like to thank all of my friends, uh, especially my friend uh, Fantasia, who's in my, my videos. Um, she's been posting my videos on uh, Korean websites which has been nice because uh, I suddenly noticed a huge surge in my views and like it turns out that about 40% of my views recently are from South Korea so uh, thank you very much uh, you know I, I appreciate you uh, promoting my videos a lot also for my other friends as well who have been posting my videos as well uh, I've, I've managed to jump up in subscribers by a hell of a lot in the last couple of weeks and a lot of my older videos have been watched a lot. Suddenly a couple of them jumped up to like over a thousand views which was absolutely insane. I just suddenly was like, whoa, Jesus, what the hell's going on here? Looked on them and it's like a mixture between America, Europe and South Korea, all these views jumping up. And I've managed to get up to like 3,700 subscribers and I've only been doing YouTube videos for like, what, five, four or five months? So uh, it's kind of a big shock for me, I was like, wow, okay. My first two months I got less than 100 and now suddenly I'm on like 3,700 people like following me. Not all of them obviously watch videos, probably only like 10% of them actually do, but uh Still, it's, you know, it counts, it counts, and it's like I got an average of 27,000 views overall on my channel, and like 100,000 minutes of watched footage, and I've only got like 50 videos, so that's quite, quite impressive, I think. Uh, also, my sickness is now almost completely better, I'm not coughing as much now, my voice is still a bit funny, but um, that's been nice. Um, so I've actually been able to do things normally without coughing and spluttering every few minutes. Uh, I've decided to grow my hair as well. Usually about this time of the year I start cutting it all off, but I don't know if you can see, but it's getting a bit longer now. This is the longest my hair's been in years, but I kind of don't know what to do with it at the moment, because uh, I have what's called a cow lick right here. So, uh, ugh. Yeah, it's uh, my hair automatically grows like down right here, which is annoying. It grows in this direction, so I kind of have to sweep it up. I wanted to do a center parting, but it means this side it goes up and then down, and this side just sweeps down. And I don't want it looking like a fucking curtain. So uh, yeah, I don't know what to do. If anyone's got any suggestions of what I can do with my hair that is sensible and not retarded, like shave it off or diet pink or something stupid like that, please give me a suggestion. Bear in mind, I've got a, a long face, so I can't have my hair too high, otherwise I look like a fucking pineapple. But, uh, yeah, I think that'll do for the moment. Uh, I'll be recording. Whoa, I need to cut that down. Yeah, I also looked into the possibility of, um, what do they call it, it's like uh, marketing my channel a bit to try to bring in more actual viewers because having a lot of subscribers is nice but I kind of want to have more views as well it's nice because when I put a video online I usually get like a hundred views within the first 24 hours but then it, then it kind of like goes a bit slow so I want to try and get most of my videos like up to more than 300 views because um, yeah, I've only got one video that went crazy for a while and got 11,000 views and a few others that have got over a thousand, but my blog videos don't really get many views, so I don't know how long I'll continue doing it, because uh, I think people are more interested in the games as to my personal life. I'm 
you know, things that happen, I don't know. But I've never done blogs before. This is like my fifth one. <laughs> I have no idea what to do. I don't want to copy other people, but at the same time, I don't, I'm, all, I'm quite nocturnal. I'm always around at night. I'm never around during the day so much. So, uh, I don't do anything during the day except working. I get home at like 10 p.m. And then I'm awake until 3 a.m. and then I get up late again. So, um, yeah, I don't know what to do. I'm a bit thirsty now. I'm talking so much. It's the most I've talked today. Mm. Here we go. Some product placement. I am drinking Georgia Hot Tona Cafe Latte. Basically, hot cafe latte. But this is very nice. 140 yen from a vending machine comes out piping hot and is quite delicious. A bit sweet, but it's alright. Oh dear. Yeah. I got these. A bit dubious about the language on there. Might die. Don't know. But <gasps> ginger nuts. Yeah, I haven't had these in a long time. I should find these in Seijo Ishii, so uh, if any of you like ginger nuts, and I, I don't mean in like a sexual sense, um, basically go to Seijo Ishii in, in Japan, you can get really authentic ginger nuts just like back in England. These ones are the best, uh, who the fuck makes these? They're called royalty. Royalty with that language? No idea. I have no idea where it's from. It's from England. There you go, it says there. From England, but yeah, I don't know. Imported, obviously, but they're pretty fucking delicious, if I'm honest. Right. So, uh, anyway, that'll be it for me today. So, uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, please hit the like, subscribe button, all the stuff that other YouTubers say. You know, do that. Whatever. I don't know. I'm not really good at this. But uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I repeat myself again. I fucking hate doing that. Um, and, yeah. Um, I, uh, I did something else, I can't remember. Here we go, product placement. Georgia. <laughs> Fuck am I drinking? Georgia Hot Cafe Ole. For those who cannot read any Japanese, uh, well, I'm reading this backwards. Hotto is katakana, means hot. This is, what's that? Na. I don't know why it says na. Uh, and then cafe. Ole. Huh? <laughs> That's embarrassing. Oh my god. This is how shit my Japanese is. Backwards, I'm reading it wrong. It's actually cafe latte. Oh well. That's embarrassing. <laughs>